we're at Estero Country Club today, me and my bestie, Laurel. Hey everybody. <laughs> Last time we did a vlog, I think it was, gosh, five years ago or something. At least. So we're back, baby. We're gonna play some holes. We'll see what we film out here. Maybe film nine, maybe all 18, maybe just six. Uh, we're just happy to be out here golfing again. We're starting on 10. This is a par four with a slight dog leg left. Right next to my drive. We'll see who hit it farther. <laughs> fade came out. I hate the fade. All right, so we ended up next to each other out here. Not so bad. Laurel's got three wood. She called the fade. I'm gonna try to hook it. I always slice my three wood, but since I'm on this lie, maybe a hook will come out. Let's try. There's water over that hill. Laurel was behind the same tree, played for the fade, but a straight ball came out. So not a bad miss here. Go, 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 go. Up there. A little short, but good hit. I hit that three wood way better than I expected, so I'm about 30 yards long. You know, it looks fast, it looks firm. Oh, not that fast. It didn't roll out at all. <laughs> I tried to stay below the hole. I stayed a little too below the hole. Okay, Laurel and I both with a bogey on one. Pulling up on 11, we have a 11. par 5, <laughs> and it looks like a, is it a dog leg right? Yes. Yes, dog leg right. Ooh, that was hammered. I would like to point out that I outdrove her by like two yards. This doesn't happen. Normally, Elisa crushes me by like 10. I think that's a little more than two. You could, uh... I was gonna be nice. You could, <laughs> you could fit a, a, a medium-sized Walmart, for sure. What do we have? So, it's 280 to the pin, something like that. Some water on the right. Great minds think alike. Here we are, one and two. What's the club selection? I am hitting my 56. Excellent shot. I'll take it. Maybe, yeah, 10 feet left. Perfect. 74. This yardage is my bread and butter. I'm going to take my 58 and hit it like three quarters. Closest to the pin competition. You're on. Oh, that looks good. Beach balls have pretty good looking birdie putts, so. One of us good. better We it. gotta get a stroke back here. Do you putt with the pin in or out? Um, I should care more. I don't care. Oh, she all. does not care. <laughs> I always want it out, so if somebody says they don't care, I just pull it out. Okay, so who won? You're off the green, but definitely closer. Um, I we think- Closest to the pin from off the green? No, I think you have to be on the green. Tell me guys in the comments, when you're playing closest to the pin with your buddies, do you count 
balls that are off the green. I'm stoked to get a read here. It's a pretty gradual left to right the whole way. Yeah, you can see it from this side. Look at it from both sides, guys. Yep. Life advice right there. Great putt, good par. Boom. Whew, that was a little knee knocker there. That first putt was so bad. Hey, we still got pars. <laughs> okay, par four, straight hole with some water on the left and comes into the fairway about maybe 250 out. I have no idea if that's safe or not. It was not the best hit, little toey. <laughs> I think it'd be good there. And my ball is safe, by the way. I'm just off the fairway. I'm adding like two clubs. So okay, it's on the green. That was the right club. Well done. We got 110, we got a strong swirly cross breeze kind of into us. I'm gonna hit my nine iron. Ooh, that looks good though. Played that right to left again. Like Laurel's got a there. long, maybe 40, 30, 40 foot putt. Oh He's trying. Okay, a little long. Great putt. Thoughts and prayers. This is for my bar. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was so money. When you think you have a point back, and then your opponent sinks a 12 footer on a gnarly slope. Nine, 12. Boom. Where'd it go? I was measuring it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Right. We're hitting some good putts today, saving some pars, um, saving bogeys, if you can uh, say that. That first hole. Hey, a point is a point. A par three now. It is 163. The wind is pretty crazy out here today, guys. Hammered it onto the right side of the green. Okay, since I saw Laurel, uh, she hit a good shot and it's a little long. I'm gonna go with my shorter club. I was between two as well. I'm on a little upslope. I've got a lot of green to work with, so I'm gonna de loft my 58 a good amount and bump and run it up there. Dead straight. I, you think I would have learned on the last one not to crush it, but here we are. Get it, get it, get it, get it! Oh, two in a row. What? We actually got it on camera. <laughs> got a par four straight, 270 to the water. Just carried that one right. I'm like behind a tree. I think you're right next to me. <laughs> Take it. I was highly concerned that this tree was going to be in our way, but we both made it past it. Awesome. Okay, little slices to the right, but we both have clear shots. 142. Wind is uh, a little left. Left to right. Oh, oh good nice bounce. bounce. Onto the green. Good shot. With the cross.
cross breeze, I pretty much always club up. So I'm gonna hit seven iron. Two, I hit a seven iron. Coming up to the green, we both have some long putts. This is gonna be good this time. I'm not gonna like crush it way by. She'd make the second putt anyway. We've got a two tier green, so I better smack this one. Definitely smacked it. <laughs> the touch of a gorilla out here. <laughs> Oh, wow, very nice. There was a lot of doubt on that putt. <laughs> Another beautiful par four? Uh, par five. Oh, okay. Another beautiful par five. Good ball. That's probably not the club to hit right there. <laughs> Oh, really? I did not hit driver if I were you. You hit it farther than I do. Um, there's, yeah, you want to hit between those two trees. Uh-oh. Think you're safe. Good, you went with the three wood. Yeah. I see, oh, we're right next to each other. We're Woo! good. Woo! So I'm going with my four hybrid. I'm hoping that I have enough loft to get over this tree, but I also want to get up there as far as I can. Yay! I'm too short to see. I've got a pretty clear shot. I have a hook lie as well. Are you going right of the tree? Yeah. Right of the tree. The pin is way down there. Oh, I think you're perfect. Tiny bit fat. I think we picked up a gallery out here. Fun. Thank you. <laughs> she has 82 yards. I'm gonna take my good old 52 degree, hit a knock down again. I'm hitting off a little bit of a down slope, so that'll add a few yards. Boom, solid. Just filling her divot so everyone sees it. Elisa takes care of the course. What's the dilemma? So I'm off the green and I'm like right at that spot where I'm like, like that's like my cutoff zone of like normally where I would like putt or chip. Great putt, well played. Good par. On to 16. Par four. Dog leg right. I know it turns right. I'm not sure it's up there. Okay, so we drove up. Um, we're both kind of in trouble. There's a lot of water and trees on this hole. I think it's no harm. Up. Yeah. Super stoked we found my ball, but it's literally in a hole. Um, can move things as long as nothing moves the ball. Okay. Oh, this is bad. I'm just going to punch out. Nah. It stopped it from going in the water. That's true. Perfect. I can still make par. I have 107 to the pin. We 
are not getting any breaks today. Coming up on 17. 145. I have just the club for that. Pretty strong downwind. What are you hitting and why? I'm gonna hit an eight because I think it'll get me there. <laughs> <laughs> the wind swirls. It's downwind, but I almost feel like the downwind still kills the shot. Oh, that was long. Okay. I feel like I was scoring well, and then all of a sudden, boom, that last hole, it got us. <gasps> Way to let one hole get to you, Laurel. <laughs> I know. Tune in for more uh, athletic mindset tips from your girls. Laurel on the left side here. Very tricky shot. Boom, great up and down. Oh, 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 wow. <gasps> Player. Okay, I zoomed it. Right side, I think it's safe. Yes. Dog leg left. Boom. Okay, so she piped it down the middle. Neither of us saw the water on the right the drop zone. Solid, straight. Boom. I'm gonna hit my 56. Oh, I opened the club face. Oh, oh, nice. Take it. Yeah, good one. My line actually isn't that bad for being right against the back of the bunker. <laughs> Oh, such a good out. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Oh! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You actually do have an audience behind you. <laughs> I knew it was gonna go what? that way! Yeah, you called it. That one broke the opposite way mine did. Goes to show, depending on what side of the hole you're on, if you're uphill or downhill. Don't listen to your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got people waiting. <laughs> Making the pit stop here and got my usual. Okay, so we had to take a little break from filming because stopped at the turn, got some food. There's people like on us, so we didn't have time to be filming. We're not gonna be those people that bugs the whole course and like holds it up. I wish we had been getting this all on camera though because Alisa just crushed the last two holes and went birdie birdie. Woo. Yeah, it was awesome. Now that I am a Floridian, I thought I'd bring you some local knowledge. Um, Snickers bars on the golf course are not the way to go, unfortunately. <laughs> a little melty. <laughs> Got a long looking par four. Plenty of water as usual. Not in the bunker. Whoop whoop. Good. That looks money. Get there, get there. Woo! That was like pin high. That was beautiful. Oh, that was a I have a nice long chip. Par. A 134 yard par three. 
We are a little confused on what the wind is doing. Good solid hit. Oh, no. no! Did it go in? It bounced back. Oh, shoot. Anytime I see any kind of body of water, I'm always looking for life, like gators, turtles, fish. I think we all kind of have that obsession. Oh! Did hit it. Great shot. Wow. Ooh, very nice. Oh, nice putt. This girl wears so much sunscreen. <laughs> I reapply like five times around. I think every great friendship has one friend who is obsessed with sunscreen and another friend who won't touch it. So you can guess which one is which. <laughs> That was a solid drive. I was in this right bunker, got a little bit of a lip, so I'm gonna take a four hybrid. The nice thing about four hybrids is that they go super high and still go pretty long. I think that's a solid club choice, Elisa. Thank you. Just like you use four hybrid over Exactly. A tree. Boom, that was perfect. Good speed. Go, 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 go. Good putt. Yay. On to hole seven. seven. I think we're going downwind, but I really don't know. The wind is all over today. Oh. Ooh, beautiful shot. I think it's really good. 160, should be my five iron. Um, this is the, my favorite club in the bag. I tell <laughs> myself this every time I hit it. That was a good strike. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's in the bunker. Oh, good it's hit. not the right club. It's okay, you hit it good. <laughs> oh. We're both in the bunk. Bunker, I hit a worm burner. We've got pretty much identical shots here. Both of us came up short. Whoa. <laughs> Caught that one solid. <laughs> I'm very lucky my ball stayed up here. Lisa wanted to do cart diaries, <laughs> and this is like the one time we don't have anything to say. Well, okay, I have a thought. I almost wanted to make a full video about this. I'd say the majority of golfers, you know, casual golfers, don't play strict golf rules. And my opinion is that everybody should play strict golf rules. And I can expound on that. What do you, how do you feel? I don't about think so. Yeah. I think. And, if you're posting your score and you're getting a handicap or you're in a tournament, yes, play by the rules. If you're not, you're not good enough to care, if you want my honest opinion. Uh, <laughs> you should just be hitting and keeping up with the group in front of you. Because um, it really doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, see, my thoughts on it are if you can't keep up with the group in front of you and you're playing strict rules, then you need to go back to the driving range. And that's my very unpopular opinion. I think it's <laughs> controversial because people say, oh, well, you gotta grow the game, get more people to play. 
I guess I'm a purist. I think if you start... We don't start... need to practice. Yes. I need to yeah. practice. Watching this round, I definitely need to practice. Yeah, like what if yeah. you just want to go have fun? A little foot wedge here, a little tosseroni away from a tree. Yeah. Like if you just want to go have fun though, what's it? What if you just want to go have some drinks? With me at least. With you I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know you try you. Because you know I'm just, I have a stick up my butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was just thinking about that lately and I was like I feel like nobody would agree with me on it. I don't. Yeah. No. 171 into a good breeze. So, I just found out that my um, head covers for my 3 and 4 hybrid were on the wrong ones. So I definitely hit the wrong clubs on a few holes. Wow. Both of us missed to the right. Laurel chipping over the bunker. Ooh, that looks really good. Oh! oh. Take it. Almost went in the hole. Oh. Go, 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 go! Wow, great par. Yay. Woo. Final hole. Woo, four iron. Oh, sit. Making our way to the green. Laurel was a little bit short. Got it slightly thick. Not rule her out yet. Not bad. We've got two putts for par. Awfully generous of you to give me a read. So nice of me. We've got Laurel adding up the scores. Not our lowest round we've ever shot, but it was a gorgeous day and we had fun. I'm not super excited to hear what I shot. <laughs> it was better than me. <laughs> for everyone who knows me, I have not been able to play golf for the last year, so I'm pretty excited actually. We're back, baby. I'm back. 77 and 82. Yeah, I'm I'm pleased with that for how little we've been playing lately. It's oh, good recording. to be back. It was fun. <laughs> we're waiting for the group behind us because we were definitely keeping up with the group in front of us, but we want to make sure the guys behind us know that because when you're two chicks running around with a camera, people probably they assume we're slow. Yeah. <laughs> So we don't want them to hate us, so we're just gonna Please don't hate us. tell them that we were waiting. <laughs> Laurel, thank you so much for being in my video. We're gonna so score better next time, guys. It's gonna yeah. happen. Yeah, so thanks for watching and tune in for more. <laughs>